Guys, I've done it again. I'm meant to be displaying at London Brit Festival in one week from today, and I haven't even put two bricks together yet. Oh no. The theme for the collaboration is iconic lightsaber duels, and because I like to bite off more than I can chew, I've agreed to do three mocks. The first battle I want to tackle is Duel of the Fates from The Phantom Menace. I wanted to depict this shot where Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon are either side of Maul with the energy reactor in the background. The second scene I'll be building is the final duel from Return of the Jedi. I have the Emperor sat on his throne as Luke draws his saber and Vader blocks. The third mock will be Luke versus Kylo Ren on Crate from everyone's favorite Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi. I cannot waste any more time, so make sure to like this video and let's get started. So I just made some Brooklyn quarters. Hopefully they come in time. I was actually at the Lego store today and I got a good chunk of pieces that I think I'll need for the crate mock. So I'm gonna start with that first. I started by laying out the plates I needed to determine the size of the mock and then putting the black border around the edges. I do need to swap out those white plates later on because I couldn't find the black ones. I emptied out the pab cup that I got at the Lego store earlier today. I started building the red bricks to make the soil for crate. I kept checking that the bricks would fit into the border and then I finished it off by tiling the edges with some that I already had in my collection. So this is where I'm at with the build so far for the crate mock. Unfortunately, I couldn't find my black plate, so I really need to dig them out and then I will change those over. I got some tile coming in the Brooklyn quarters, so really hope they don't take too long. And yeah, this is going to be how the mock kind of looks. I'll just continue this with various different white plates and tiles. Um, I do have some red plates and tiles as well, um, and that's basically how crate's going to look. But unfortunately now, I can't do a lot until those Brooklyn quarters turn up. Using the pieces I already have in my collection, I started putting together some of the floor for the final jewel build. I left enough space and fitted some brackets for a 4x4 plate so that I could attach the Emperor's throne later, so now I'm just waiting on those parts to come in and then I can build the throne and get the windows fully constructed. The packages have finally arrived, let's start building. Considering Jewel of the Fates had the least work done on it, I thought I'd get some progress done there. So this is the base for Jewel of the Fates. I've left a little gap here that I can run some lights in. I've got some on order, hopefully they come in time. So that's kind of as far as I can go in regards to the base. Next is building the platform. So I've got this little section here. We've got some hinge plates and hinge bricks. Hopefully if I get 10 of these, I can build a round. And then with some beams coming through the middle of here, I can kind of support that. I'm hoping the weight holds out, but I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I'm gonna carry on and build these. And then hopefully those lights will come. If not, I'll jump onto one of the other builds. I put together the sub models that create the size of the platform, as well as some of the snot assemblies that represent the lights in the floor. Whilst I start putting together the wedge plate sections to create the platform, let's get some more work done on the final jewel build. I managed to find more of the 6x8 plates in black so I could construct the base for the final jewel mock. I wanted all of these builds to look cohesive so I built up that black border. I also integrated some 1x2 snot bricks so that I could put some grill tiles on just like Lego does on the 18 plus diorama sets. After some messing around with the design of the steps, I got them done and started building the Emperor's Throne. So progress update on Jewel of the Fates so far and the whole platform is done. I've got the details around the side as well. Really happy with it and it's actually really sturdy. I can pick it up with one hand. So I'm quite optimistic about getting this levitating on here uh, with some support beams going through the middle. I'm still waiting on the lights to come in. So uh, that's why this bit hasn't been done any further, but I'm gonna leave this for now until those lights come in because I want to get that all done in one go. And then uh, yeah, hopefully you can build this up and make it look really cool with some lights in. I switched out the 6x8 white plates on crate for black ones, as well as adding those 1x2 snot bricks so I could add those grill tiles later. Next job was to start constructing the sections of the windows of the Death Star. There are 12 windows that have a wedge of bricks attached to the side. The ball joints attached to the back will connect each section and hopefully allow me to achieve the right angle with the windows facing inwards slightly. So it's the last day of building and this is where I'm at with the final dual set. Um, it looks a bit crooked at the moment. I just need to get the final placement, but I'm honestly not going to worry about that too much until I get to the convention because I still got to travel with it yet. So <laughs> hopefully that goes okay. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I did have like a border like trim to go around it, but one, I don't think it fits with the angle. Um, and two, I just don't think I'm going to have enough time. The only things I really need to do to this mock now, other than obviously add the figures and stuff, is um, just sort the plating out underneath because this is a little bit high just to where I was like trying to keep the base together. So I just need to sort that out. And what I think I'm going to do is probably just pull these corners in so you don't see them. So have the black border come like in here uh, to there somewhere and then travel backwards. And then this one will be done. 
The crate base is looking a bit bare at the moment, but I am going to lay the tiles out before I leave and then cling film it. And hopefully then it stays intact for when I get to the convention. If it's just one less job I have to do when I get there, that, that would be great. So hopefully it will travel well, but mm, not sure it will. Still no progress to update on Jewel of the Fates as I'm still waiting for those lights to come in. Hopefully they come up today and I can get them done in time. If not, I'm just going to have to close this off, try suspend it. Um, but honestly, if I can't suspend it, I wouldn't be too mad if it was like this and then just had the energy stuff coming up through the middle anyway. So yeah, we'll see where we get to on Jewel of the Fates. The other thing um, I've got, I've got studs on the sides of all of the black bases. I had ordered a load of these, but I don't think some of them have showed up. It's the grill tiles, basically. It's not going to focus. There we go. Um, I ordered a ton of them. I used a load on the Final Jewel uh, build, but I had ordered a load more, but they haven't come up. So uh, I've got a load in light bluish gray, and to keep all my builds um, with a bit of continuity, I'm probably just going to use those on the three builds. Unfortunately, with time very quickly running out before I have to pack up the mocks and head to the convention, and the lights not arriving in time for Jewel of the Fates, I threw on these grill tiles and called it a day. So here's how the three builds finally turned out. We have crate here. I completely forgot to put the white vent pieces on there. I, God, how have I only just noticed that? It's like the end of the day now. But, uh, but yeah, this is the crate build. Super, super simple. Uh, and yeah, it's got Kylo Ren and Luke on there. Simple but effective. I mean, there's really not much uh, <laughs> to depict from the cell flats on crate. Um, this one I'm really happy with. I gutted that I didn't get to put the lights in. Uh, I just didn't. I just ran out of time. Just classic tech, poor, uh, poor organizational skills, leaving everything to the last minute, but uh, it's kind of my brand at the moment. <laughs> um, but yeah, and the classic Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon, because I just don't have more up-to-date figures of them. I don't even have their hair pieces, which is pretty embarrassing, to be honest. I should have, should have again, planned a bit ahead a bit. But I'm really happy with the platform. I think it looks really, really good. Um, I'm glad that it all comes together. I did have a little bit of a problem at the back here um where the maths didn't quite line up as i thought i thought all the sections would be equal so i had to improvise a bit there but because it's at the back you can't really see uh, you can't really tell too much and then over here to final jewel i'm happy with the uh the window piece i wish i put a bit um of like trim around there just to make it look a bit more like a solid wall rather than I don't know, just this like half finished window. The structure is, is pretty sound, like the tension from the flex tube um, and the supports and then the, it's ball joints on the back. Like it, it's, it's held together pretty well. Uh, I just managed to move it from like down the other end of the table and, uh, and it survived all being well. So yeah, happy with this one. Uh, and yeah, it's cool to get three mocks done. Another successful collaboration project, a lot of fun and I can't wait to do the next one which will be hopefully at Oxford Brick Festival in the summer. So another successful collab project done and I just about managed to get my three mocks looking how I wanted them in time for the show. If you would like to see the other builds from the collab, be sure to hit that subscribe button as they will all feature in every LEGO Star Wars mock at London Brick Festival coming next.